All right, so here we are at the Northeast House. Uh, I believe it's this one. Yeah, I think I think it is this one. Uh, I actually think this is the one that we came into as well. Yeah, yeah, it is the one that we did the ramp on uh, for the uh, was it the harbor hover race, and we had to ramp onto the land. This is the one that we came into. I just kind of realized that, but anyway, here is the Stinger. It does have the top down? Archbacks. Yeah. Ugh. All right. So. There's that vehicle, uh, so we're going to go ahead and take it back, and also before I do this, there's a person, I guess he's a subscriber, I'm not sure, I was going to block him, but you know, I thought, I think I'll try something else, so his name is um, NXT Bach, or Next, Next Bach, I guess is what it stands for, um, of course Bach, you know, piano player, and I kind of figured that because on my, uh, piano video that I uploaded, the one of me blindfolded, he said that the uh, video was crap, and that my plane was crap. So, uh, I told him that, hey, you know what, you do it yourself, blindfolded. And he said, okay, but to mention them in the next video. Of course, granted, I had already recorded so many videos before, as you all know, uh, but I'm mentioning him now, because this is the next one that I'm recording after I... Uh, read his comments and responded back to him and everything. So, next box, here you are. And, uh, yeah, show me the video of you playing it blindfolded. Alright, so with that, uh, we <clears throat> got, what was it, $600 for the Stinger. Um, now, the next one will be the Maverick. The Maverick. Now, the Maverick, as you all should know by now, hopefully, uh, is a helicopter. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? Let's go. You know, I'm gonna actually go ahead and get a truck. I'll go ahead and get the line runner. All right. So with the line runner, uh, what we're gonna have to do is the Maverick, closest one I know. Uh, like I said, it looks it's a helicopter. It looks like your average heli. It's the one that was used in the Vice Sites mission. Um, and speaking of the vice sites, that is the one that we're going to be taking, actually. So remember, it was in about this location, around right there. So let's go ahead and head over to that location. And uh, the reason, of course, why I got the big truck is so we could kind of knock it out of the way so the vice sites wouldn't start. But remember, if it does, or if you don't mind about canceling out of the mission, you know, you can always press R3 twice, which will actually probably be easier. Uh, but it just depends on how you want your mission count to be. Like, if you've already failed missions a few times, then, you know, don't worry about it. Like me, I had, like, the one that was the, uh, playground on the park, the PS2 only one. Uh, you know how I told you that I had already beat it, but for whatever reason, it did not record correctly, so I had to re-record it. It took about, oh, six, seven tries before it actually, uh, worked. Or before I got the, you know, the recording that you see on the video. It took about six, seven tries to get that. Y you know what? That's just going to take a little too long. If it does start, I'll just cancel out of it. Oh, no, I guess I did push it far enough. Great. Awesome. All right, so I just see the civil asset forfeiture. Imperial does need one of these vehicles again. Of course, well, that's why I led you to it. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and just fly it back. And, yeah, luckily have to fly it back, so it's not too, too bad, not too bad at all, and be more over in this location, about right over here, of course, whenever you have to land the uh, helicopter, be very careful, because you will have to go between these walls here, and, uh, let's see here, try, I have to get really close to the left wall, as you can see, but, I mean, it's still big enough to where you can make it, but, you know, I'm, I'm just saying be careful. Even if you have to land a little bit to the right of it, it shouldn't actually be too difficult. There we go. As long as you get close to it, it works. All right, $900 for the Maverick. And the last one for the vehicle list, and vehicle number three, is the Sparrow. So with the Sparrow, uh, you know, it's a big cockpit with glass all around. It's almost like you're in a bubble, in a way, in the cockpit. Co cockpit? Cockpit. Um, 
So that's all around. The tail looks like bars welded together, I guess you could say. Oh, hey, that was close. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. And the policeman just passes him. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, the uh, Sparrow is going to be located. Let's see, how would I put this? Okay, at the airport from the south. Uh, from the southeast corner of the terminal, which would be this one, um, head south and you'll end up at a helipad with the helicopter parked there. So about, I don't know, maybe around this area? Somewhere around that area, but either way, for the southeast corner of the terminal, just head direct, uh, almost directly south, I think, if I remember correctly, and we'll see how that... Oops. Ha ha ha. He just gets off and stands there and watches. Uh, but yeah, I also heard on the GTA 5 thing that the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The police are supposed to be a lot smarter as well. Uh, I guess in terms of, or maybe not a lot smarter, but just more realistic, in a sense. Uh, okay, oh well, yeah, most... Okay, so apparently it's a lot further than this. It's not right over here. Oh, okay, so it's past past the uh, north, east to southwest runway. Here we go. You know, let me see if I can find the exact location. Oh, it is like right there. Huh? You know, what? I think I'll actually put that in here as well. Head south, or in my guide. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, head, head in my guide. I'll put this. Head south. All right. Sorry about. Sorry about this. I'm just uh, getting this typed in real quick. All right. Awesome. 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 Like I said, I, I, I love doing these. These are very fun. Awesome. Okay, got that. Um, so, you can probably saw the uh, uh, helicopter parked there already. But yes, this is what the sparrow looks like. Like I said, it look, it's like bars for the tail or whatever. And it's like you're going to a big bubble type of deal. It's one-seater. Or no, wait. It's two-seater? Two-seater. Yeah, two-seater. All right. So... Of course, it's raining, so that'll make things so much more awesome to try to land this thing properly. Because, as you all know, with rain, like, I'm not pushing anything, and it's pushing me to the left here. That's what sucks about whenever it starts to rain. Of course, whenever it rains, also the roads become a lot more slippery. Uh, I hate this weather. It's like, come on, really? No, push, push, push to the left. No, come on, keep going, keep going. No, stop. Push. Push. Let's go. Don't crash into the roof now. Oh, come on. Oh, stupid weather. Push, push, push. Back. Back. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, land, land, land. There we go, land. I just freaking hit that land, or the square as much as possible. Okay, the whole lot. Here's your cut. One thousand three hundred dollars. Um, normally you get like eight hundred. Yeah, you would get eight hundred dollars for the sparrow, and then five hundred dollars for the uh, completing the list. So that equals out to uh, one thousand three hundred dollars. So sweet! All right, that is it. As you can see, they're all marked out. No new list appears. That is it for the car list. Uh, now we have the <laughs> the boat list. Here we go. All right, boat list. We'll I mean, yeah, it's only one list, only one. But the boats, a lot of them are very slow. So I'll actually show you how to get there from. You know, I'll take you from the. Uh, uh, striped intersection here. Right here. Here we go. 
So from here, I'll show you how to get to the boat list. And uh, of course, that will be in the next video as well, everyone. So I hope you've all enjoyed. I have. Love you all. Peace out. Goodbye.